This one is the only one that deals with the issue of life and death. And it's not an exaggeration. Now, strategy is what they are still using today. That the Israelis and the Palestinians are using to kill themselves down to this minute. In the Middle East. It is what Russia is using to kill Ukrainians. Ukrainians are using to kill the Russians. And as I said, it's the only thing you use to kill effectively. In movies is when they shoot the bad guy, then the guy will tie rope and use the other hand to kill. It's in the movies you shoot them in the leg too, that they still use wood. I start still use something to kill. No, strategy has to deal with killing them. Don't, don't let them come back at the end of the movie to come and kill, to kill them, they are dead. And that was why I said it's the only issue that deals with the issue of life, and that is what the military they use. Nigeria is trying to plan to destroy Boko Haram. Boko Haram is also plan, plan, planning to destroy Nigeria. So there's terrorist strategy, so there's military strategy. As you are planning to cheat, Lecture is also planning to catch it. <laughs> Cheating is not for the faith hearted. But I know you have to be strong to cheat. <laughs> now, in my point, what you say, cheating determines your destiny. Take it in, take it in. Words of wisdom. Cheating determines your destiny. You know why? If you succeed, you've made it. When you are caught, you are finished. <laughs> It is just, it, there is just that thing. Now, this is the beauty of strategy. There is nothing like chance in strategy. No. There is nothing like chance. Devil wanted it that way. It was, there is nothing like mistake. A good cheat will plan for the cheating, then plan for the after cheating. Like, listen, you know, there are two things. Now, now, now. A good cheat will plan. About not just cheating, but what if I'm caught? And that's a smart cheat. What if not the one that will just say, God, please help me, don't let him catch me. <laughs> what if I'm caught? That's a good cheat. So if I'm caught, then what is the next step? Not that I have faith, I won't be caught. But I believe you can't catch me. After all, I'm not the only one cheating in that class. Why me? Uh, 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 that, so a good one will plan on what if I'm caught? So, if you are caught now, you have strategy. Once you are caught, faint. <laughs> like, remember that you were caught cheating. If you are caught, friend of a sister, we are all cheating in this class. He's no living. <laughs> exactly. And if you are one of the lamest excuses you can ever give, it's the devil's work. <laughs> no, you hear that nonsense. Ah, it is my first time. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, sir. I don't usually do this, but I just said I could try. You know, that, 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 that was why I said strategy deals with the issue of life and death. You don't go up to war based on the assumption, based on the fact that I know I'll kill all my enemies. No, you plan on killing them, and you also plan that they will kill you. And that's how you go to war. And it's not just say no, I must go, then I must. No. I don't even understand what I'm trying to say. There is nothing you do in the world that does not involve strategy, but you just didn't know. All of them are like, I mean, life and death care decisions. See, Russia invaded Ukraine. Russia is a superpower. Russia had already taken about three or four territories within Ukraine. And yet, Russia refuses to stop. And they are still fighting Ukraine. Russia is now losing in Ukraine. But Russia cannot go out of Ukraine. Uh, listen, you know what Putin now said? He said it's a matter of life and death. And Yoruba will say, Tiwa Jo Bashile, Nyashe Pakashina. But Putin is saying, no, we must go forward. That this is now a matter of life and death. Now I said something, I said, Russia is a power, powerful state. Russia invaded Ukraine. Russia succeeded in getting about 30% of Ukraine. I mean, again, sorry for using your action, you don't move. Eh? 30, we want 5 points. We have for the 69, 4 points. You are still okay, but you are still angry. You want that 5 points. So they have 30. They take it back, they take it back, they take it keep. I mean, Russia just said, no, I want 70. Russia is still within Ukraine. 
till now. Uh, because I said strategy is a funny thing. Strategy, you have objectives, you have goals, you have reasons for doing things. And if that thing is not met, usually you don't go back. See, what you realize by the end of this lecture, by this semester, you know, it will change your outlook. Maybe sometimes you realize you'll be living your life wrong. You'll be making the wrong, wrong choices. Strategy is about choice. There is nothing like mistake or you have no choice. I mean, you were caught stealing meat from pots. He said you had no choice. <laughs> you had a choice, and you forgot it. And the choice is for you not to steal the meat. Hey, but you say you had no choice. You were caught cheating. Exams now. And you say you had no choice. But you had a choice now. Choice is for you to have zero. But you didn't want zero, so you picked the other choice. Hey, but your choice now to you is to pass. And to pass, to cut corner. To cut corner, you cheat, but you yes. didn't think of the outcome, which is where strategy comes in. What if you are caught? It's not that simple. And that's why they put seatbelts in cars now. They didn't say you have accident, but what if? Ah, you forgot it. And that's why they tell you to use seatbelts. And that's why we give you all those things that read everything. So that even if you did not prepare for question number one, at least you read number two. And that is why I'm usually against the uh, uh, areas of concentration. It's not out of wickedness. And most times I give, I don't remember, I just said different things. And still, when I started cursing myself, cursing themselves rather, not me. <laughs> I, I think it was a deliberate thing or something. Good strategy means you get to it when we get to the principles or the, uh, the premises of strategy. And I must be adequately prepared. That is why the only game I love to play in the world is just time. It's chess. Chess is better than Ludo, than what, and all those other things. Even it's better than uh, that uh, snooker. Hey, those ones are based on chance. All those ones, Ludo is chance now. Can is chance, dice, where you throw is chance. But chess, you play, then you anticipate what your enemy will play. In fact, you play and you, you push that person to play that thing favorably to the way you want that person to play. Hey, no, no, that, that is why chess is unique. You know, in chess, you don't only think of your own move. You think of when you move, how will that person move? How will you counter that person's move? And exactly. Good strategy will you anticipate. And then you anticipate what if. I, I gave you the example. That is why they use put seat belts in cars. And not because they say you are going to have accident. Not because they are hoping to have accident. They are, they are hoping you have, but then to minimize risk. Even if it happens. Please, can I continue? Yeah. I said strategy is about choices. There is nothing you are doing in this world that you don't have a choice. When you say you don't have a choice, you are one of the greatest liars in existence. You have choices. Economics, if you remember now, there's what they call opportunity cost or scale of preference. And now you list them from the more important to the least. Exactly. It's not compulsory for you to come for this lecture. You have choices. You could be at home, you could be in the club, you could be at work, or you can be for lecture. Or you can be in school and be on the other tree. There are choices. So you only pick the one that you feel is the best. So if you're not comfortable with the tree, why are you not in class? Ah, I, I came late. Mm -mm. You came late because you wanted to be late. Not that you were not told the time. And why you know why are you not receiving the that uh, you can uh, I don't understand whatever the man is teaching in, that. In, in other words you have choices so there is nothing like no I had no choice there are choices uh, Putin was saying his hands were tight when he invaded Ukraine you know what they told him must he invade Ukraine is it compulsory I mean what's you if you want to end wars, remember what the Bible said. If you slap your left cheek, turn the right cheek. Yeah, but if you try that in the realistic world now. Exactly. That if you slap this cell, then you turn the other cheek or something like that. So strategies about choices. And that one is important. And again, I said, the military aspect of it. The military aspect of it is the only one that deals with the issue of life and death. That is why you have strategy. Even the word strategy is from that Greek word, general. Strategos. To lead, to plan, ahead, to destroy. 
general. That's where you got that one. It is from that one that you now get what you call religious strategy, economic strategy. People that watch football now, football strategy, and so on and so forth. Uh, sorry, I hope you know football is our life and death too. Yes. People kill themselves over football. People, dead Nigeria is not football that they are dying for. Yes. And there was a time the VC of University of Osho now, Osho State University. She complained, she lamented that students are no longer paying school fees, that they rejected all their school fees. All of them, all students. The same thing at the University of Benin. That, yeah, so it costs life. So that was why I said strategy is about choices. It is not something you just do because you feel like doing. No. You plan it. You look at all the intricacies. Uh, in chess, chess, you know, you're always aggressive, naturally aggressive when you're playing chess. That's why you see them, they are pausing, they are thinking. They are not thinking about how you could get up. You know, they are thinking about how they can finish you. And you are planning, when you shift, you've already anticipated that other person's move 10 times ahead. It's the same in warfare. I mean, Japan attacked the Pearl Harbor, 1941. America now. Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. And they are the to them, they picked all the choices. Americans are really liberal. Americans don't like war. Americans don't like other nations. When Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, they blistered that thing. We would just tell America, sorry, let's be friends. And that would end the whole thing. Or they would tell America, we, we've done it, we've done it. It's one of those things, forget it. Uh, eye for eye is no good, we all be blind. Well, we've killed it. So that, that was the assumption. And that was why they carried another attack in 1941. But they didn't anticipate that Americans can retaliate. Exactly. They never anticipated that America can actually retaliate. Can I continue? Yes, sir. Now, now, till today, till when you become graduates, when you are happily married with 10, 16 children, each one of you has one of two Now, now, they will still be studying strategy. They've been studying it from there till now. In fact, a great American military institution, they devote about two years to the studying of mass strategy. And it's, they are still studying. It's not something you can know overnight. It is that difficult. This topic that I'm so passionate about, you can ask your seniors, is something you should be interested in, because it will govern your life as it is. You know, we are facing serious uh, different kind of security challenges in Nigeria that you just can't be careless. I mean, you just can't be careless at all. Everything you do, every step you take is about choices. There are no boring lectures at all. There are no boring lectures. Your interest is what determines that. There are no, there are no boring lectures at all. I've taught Russian history. I've taught Islamic Jihad in West Africa. I've taught Nigerian history. I've taught Yoruba Lagos. I've taught Lagos history. All the courses you are taking, I've taught all of them over the years. And I repeat, there are no boring lectures at all. In fact, one of the courses I'm going to, to find one of the most difficult when you are, when by the time you get to 300 level, is that that thing called historical research methodology. Then uh, you get to 400 level, you have historical thought. Then 300 level, you have political thought. Those are topics you are going to find them difficult because they are abstractions. But those are the ones I enjoy. Abstractions are things that are not concrete now. They are like theories and the rest of them. I love using theories and practicalizing them. That is the difference. Because I see the thing as a challenge now. And I, because I was not born a strategist. It's not something I picked up interesting. To pass without failing. Somebody will pass and tell you I didn't read very well and stay at five points. If you don't read very well, what would I have to pass? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't read very well. I'm always passing. And your business is to what, what exactly is that thing you are using? It's not until you read every textbook, all the textbooks now, that no, and there's a strategy to read it. And that is strategy. Nothing is wasted, everything is a choice. But how you go about it actually matters. Ah, there is a system to passing, there is a logic to passing. Lots of today collected extra sheets, some had 1.2 points this semester. Hey, in fact, there is a strike. Who will look at the ass? Because are you just still on the global one? The number one is not even flowing. This one is already saying, Let's touch it, let's touch it, let's touch it, let's touch it. 
<laughs> but then you don't discover that you like don't collect extra sheep. You are getting more. The first extra sheep is done. Either carry out carry over for one point or two points. So there is a strategy to it. It is not just about collecting extra sheets. How you write matters. What you write matters. And it's not just writing. How you write that thing matters. What you write matters. And in any case, what you write determines your death and your life. Very simple now. If you did not write correctly, you won't grab it. So that's your death. If you write correctly, it's your life, then you grab it. Very simple. And when I said that at the beginning, it's not a course, it's the truth. Everything you do, every step you take, you take now, and it's the same thing, the time it, your destiny, your life. They, 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 they might be consequential to you. It's addition, accretion. You don't start smoking one day. Small, small. Kerosene fire, he hails. It's small, 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 small. Ah. I remember in our grass, you don't become an arm robber one day now. Still mommy is one naira. Still money under the pillow. Then you graduate. Therefore, you know, small, 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 small. Then you are in the car, in the bus. Picking the post. And you know, that's how you graduate. And you know, it's that small something. You know, that's why in the, in the, when, when they give birth to you as children, they, you know, they told parents not to be doing that thing now. When you are trying to use left hand, they beat you very well in Yoruba land. And when you are trying to use, they send this devil, something is wrong with you and the rest of it. So there's a way they torture you, they use blade, they cut that thing, they do it so that you can switch to right hand. I don't even understand that. That, yeah. that was thinking of appearing. That if they don't stop that thing, then by the time you become pretty, pretty difficult, and that's why you have a lot of leftists now present. But there's a psychological, biological reason for it. That, so their strategy, their, so, sorry, before you start getting angry, so it is a sensitive topic. Female genital mutilation. Why do you think you were doing that thing to get? And it's a strategy, there's a reason. Oh, you think it's because you just want to scarify them, to cut them? No, they said they want to stop them from being promiscuous. And your mother is doing it to you, not because of them, because that was what the mother did to her. And the mother before them did the same thing. And but they've forgotten that then, in the villages, there was no internet. There are no amusement park. The only place you go to is from your village to your farm, then back to the village to your farm. So technically, they are not exposed. All the boys in your area, you know yourself. All the girls in your area, you know yourself. In fact, when they came back to you, they already know your wife and your husband. They already know your husband. You, usually, it's the boy they came back to, when they came back to you, that you start calling your uncle, your uncle, your uncle, your Before you know it, it's 17, people come out. That's what I'm saying. Get the pick of that now. So there was no pornography, you don't have it and you don't have to you, so you won't have the mind to be British or like a generation. <laughs> Remember, since that was what the mother did, and not knowing that their life chances were limited, that was why they were not produced. No transportation, you're not going anywhere now. If you say you travel, then is from here to Shibiri, that's travel. You leave your village and put another village. <laughs> that, that is what they call travel. So if you are gone for four days, today you'll be gone for four years. Remember, there was no GSM. It's when they see you that you get back that you are back. So they now say that is their strategy to stop a girl from being promiscuous. Point is there's a strategy behind it. Everything anybody does, there's a reason. Strategies, plan, choices. You have a reason for everything you do. Everything. That, you know, <laughs> Nigerian boys are going to the Europe to marry a very old woman. And when you ask them, they say, they will tell you it's love. Yeah. But you know within yourself that it is not love. <laughs> say, say, that is the point I'm making. I said, for doing, there is a reason. That is the point. That is strategy. You know, you said money. That is the reason. And that is why they are doing it. And that is why you need strategy. And that is why you always have what you call no, strategy is not plan. What you always call plan B. If A does not work out, how about B? How about C? How about D? And that is why last week gave you choices. If you can't make five points, how about four points? How about three points? How about two points? How about one point? And that is why you call one point led by people go. And it's choice. It's choice. Then, of course, if you are not okay with one point, you have zero. It's your choice. So, what you get from that is based on your strategy. You define what you get from each and every one of them. 
I've been teaching this course for some years. But whenever I still want to come and teach, I'll still read different things. I get yes now, but knowledge is dynamic. I told you that the ambition is not fixed. If I had stayed on that of 2020, this lecture would be boring. You know, it's the same thing I'll be repeating. All my lectures are never the same. Some of the things I'm teaching you now, I'm still going to teach you in three and four, but it will still be different. There was no putting in there in two, three years ago. Yeah, but the demand is now killing. So to me now, material and strategy. Palestinians and Arabs that have not started their major latest war. Nobody knew Hamas can attack them. In fact, the last time they had a major war was 2006, if I remember, when Hezbollah from Lebanon attacked Israel. It was a war, and we were happy. Now, we, we didn't even know something bigger, better is coming. And, and that's how it is. Israelis were caught on our ways because they had a bad strategy. They are thought that the Hamas will never be, nobody dare attack Israel. America is one of the greatest murderers in the world. 1945, remember Hiroshima and Nagasaki? No, you didn't remember Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Now, Japanese were fighting Americans on the battlefield in the front. America went to their homes and dropped bombs on innocent women and children and grandmothers and grandfathers, and they killed 144,000 the first time. So first time was a mistake, that was what we thought. Three days later, they dropped another home again on Nagasaki, killed 144,000. And when they did that, they went to church and they did that. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. <laughs> Again, I keep repeating, there is no morality. The, the, the way you are looking at it, so, now, they, they dropped that bomb twice. Now, they killed innocent women and grandparents and children. And we celebrated America till today. World power. No morality. No morality at all. What matters is the object. Put the fear of God in Japan, and they brought the world to an end. It's not that simple. Hamas attacked Israel. I forgot him. People are not blaming Israel now. No morality. People have forgotten who started the attack. Israel. Israel is killing old women, killing small children, destroying schools. They forgot Israel is shot, but they started it. <laughs> they, they attacked me. I don't have the right to respond. Uh, your response is too harsh. <laughs> uh, it's too that is what is going on now. And you know what Israel now say? Now listen, we'll end the lecture. So you can understand what is meant by strategy. People are saying Israel is using what they call disproportionate response. A mosquito beat you, you went to go and get the gun to shoot the mosquito. That people are saying Hamas attacked you. No problem, we do. Pick Hamas and destroy Hamas. You know what Israel said? Israel said no. Grandfather of Hamas, grandmother of Hamas, graveyard of Hamas, house of Hamas, everything will be left. That is what is going on now. So to people it is madness, but to these realists it is strategy. You know what Netanyahu said? He said, we want to make this thing final, so that Hamas will not be able to attack Israel again. So to do that, we have to uproot all Palestinians. That is the strategy that people are not seeing. Can you see the difference now? They are saying, stop this fighting. Let there be a ceasefire. Israel now said, if there is a ceasefire, this guy will gather, they will recruit. Then, three years from now, they will attack again. But my own strategy is, I don't want them to attack forever. It's just, it's just that simple. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, finally, they finally discovered, they've developed a strategy for combating malaria. Something they should have done a long time ago. When you, when you take malaria drug, that's not good strategy. You know, malaria has different variants. Uh, the one that you feel feverish in the morning, and the, yeah, that one is still better. There's one they call cerebr cerebral malaria. That one attacks your brain. You die within some few hours. Uh, it's not a matter of you are feeling hot. You feel fine. You eat uh, food, you eat everything. In the morning, by afternoon, you are gone. And uh, so that's why most times they say that tablet is not with you. And you have to take tablet for three days. The question we've been asking them is why not produce a vaccine? You know, the same way you have vaccine for COVID-19, then for small force, tuberculosis, and the rest of it. Two days ago, they've now created the first world vaccine. And they've inoculated children in uh, Cameroon. So they are going to do that thing in some other countries in uh, Africa. To so me, that's an effective strategy against uh, malaria. Insecticide is a waste of money. Uh, in case you are not aware. <laughs> no, it works, but we use it wrongly. For insecticide to work, to kill mosquitoes. You must use more than half of that thing in your room. 
Hey, you know, you know, not this one, you know, you do a lot of rope. Sorry. Sorry. So there's a book on diseases. There's a book, History of Diseases in the World. So when COVID-19 came in, to, when COVID -19, so I quickly wrote something, History of Pandemic 2, or viruses, so it's online, you can read it if you like, in the 20th and 21st century. I traced the history of viruses and bacteria and the rest of them. It was in the presence of my research that I came across how to actually tackle mosquito effectively. That no wonder, those things, as if they are always wearing gas masks. <laughs> You know, when you use that thing, two hours, they are back again. And now, you can only kill them effectively. And I'm using the English word that that guy, that when you blanket your room, you turn your room into a fog with insecticide. Yes, when you turn your room into a fog and you leave it short, that that is the best way to kill mosquitoes in that room. And interestingly, too, in my joblessness there when I was reading, I was just wondering, why is it only the female one? There's always biting, not the male. It's only the female. Yeah, you never inject it. Then I don't think it's only the female. Not the male. So I, why, why is it only the female? Why not the male? Do you know why? You want to know why? They have to do what? Feed their young ones. Yeah. And also they will blood their mouth and go and keep it Is this strong? They will just take this thing and just say, yeah, your mouth. Just it. <laughs> well, she's smart now. She knew they go to, she said she's the one who told you to see that. <laughs> Actually, when I read the reason why I fell for the mosquito too, it needs man to fatalize its eggs. Uh, yeah, we, we, the human blood contains that particular protein that the doctor is still contacting. Why not dog's blood? <laughs> no, why not dog? Why, why must it be my own blood that you need to fertilize your head? And with that human blood, they can, that is why men, male mosquitoes don't have interest in your blood. So it's not as if they eat that thing the way we're thinking that they eat that thing. And in, 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 seriously, you don't blame them too. They are not even, I mean, yeah, parasite. injecting your body with the parasite deliberately. No, there is blood has a particular characteristic. When you expose it, that it congeals. When you want to, that's why your blood clots. And it congeals now. So, and these guys did that thing liquid, slippery, warm. So they wouldn't want it to congeal. So the chemical they inject into your body for the thing not to congeal is what gives you that infection, that parasite. So it's not as if they are actually targeting you. It's their also strategy for survival. They need blood, it has to be warm. To stay warm, they have to put, make sure they put something that will make your blood warm. So as you have it in the human world, you also have it in the animal world. But we, we are not just aware. So then, what they are doing is life and death towards this disturbance. So the terrorist, is, to them, is life and death. To us, it is disturbance. To Ukraine, life and death. To Russia, is their own lifeline. And that is how you view every war. And that was why I said this topic is the only one that deals with the issue of life and death. So you cannot appreciate that statement. It's not an hyperbole or oxymoron. It's the actual gospel truth. Now, quickly, before I leave your class, uh, cut up line one introduction, which is what I use one hour for. Two. Then this one started. Can I continue? Yes, sir. I said three, right? Yes, sir. Uh, what I call that thing? Yes, yes. I have to love this. Premises of strategy. Premises. Like I told you, 300 level. You know, you have principles of war. If you know you want to become a killer, a murderer, a cycle. So there are principles, there are steps. So for strategy, premises. Premises of strategy. Now the premises are up to 15. That I'll give it just for five or there about. Premises of strategy. Five, right? Four. Four. Yeah, I love this. Strategic environment. Hmm. Strategic environment. 
2016, when I wrote that paper on the nature of the Nigerian war, I said Nigeria has been fighting that war wrong. That they study the environment, that they try to use American idea to fight a local war within the Nigeria. And I said that was why Nigeria was actually losing that uh, conflict. Now I said strategic environment. <laughs> no matter how you love Jesus, you go to the Rebecca in Saudi Arabia and start preaching about Jesus and giving out tracts. Uh, so, no matter how you love Jesus, you go to Saudi Arabia, Mecca, and start giving out tracts. When I went to Dubai, Christians were, they, they were known, but they were never heard. They, they are there, they exist, but you don't ever see them. All these service and they, so usually they turn the, their hotel rooms to their places of worship. No, 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 I use the word strategic environment. The environment determines how you behave in a particular setting. And it's the same for war. When you go to parties, no matter how careless you are with how you eat food at home, when you go to parties, you pretend, you form. When the Sabbath before you look left, you don't touch the table, you are just observing. Yeah, yeah. Remember, the environment has changed you. No matter how hungry you are, you won't touch that thing. You just check who will touch their own food first. You just check. That is strategic. That is, the environment is trying to modify your behavior. Last, this class is an environment. Ordinarily, you would have want to check your phones and to listen to your music. But the environment has conditioned your behavior. Even if you are not serious, you have to pretend to look serious. Once I'm talking, I look at you, just shake your head. Shake your head. <laughs> environment. 2009, I was doing the research of Nigerian war, and then Nigeria was tough back then. So we were told to be extremely careful. And that, that's the environment determines how you behave. And that is why whenever you are in church, you're always looking the same. <laughs> you know, they, they say, where you just look gentle, and you just look calm, very peaceful. You know, in, in those days then, when they used to take what they call Holy Communion, in Anglican churches, Methodist and Red. You know, whenever you are going to take that thing, you just... The way you just... Oh, you don't have no... Perfect husband, perfect wife. Now, when you come to... Of course, you don't be sexy. My point is, environment de determines its behavior. In the same way, when you are through with the exam, you are relieved. After one month or two, you are changed to LITC. That there's a way you are calm. There's a way you are calm. That's a strategic environment. And it is the same thing that operates during war in the international political system. Strategic environment modifies, determines your behavior. Strategic environment. Can I continue? Yes, sir. Don't worry, when we take that, it's one topic I love so much. Because there are things, there are four principles surviving in that strategy. Environment. Five. Ha. I love this number five too. Concept of victory. Concept of victory. The meaning of victory. It will shock you when it comes to that particular aspect. That you've been living your life the wrong way all along. Victory. Sorry. What is your own idea of being rich? Yes. That is a strange. What's your own idea of being rich? Uh -uh. How much? No. You see, that's no answer. That is the problem. You know, so it's that, What is your con concept of being rich? What is your concept of being a, this is a of passing the exam? Those might be five points. This might be one point. Get it? I said concept of victory. When they are playing football, you now be hearing they should just be draw, not one o, not draw. You are not getting it now. Draw zero zero. You are not saying they should even man, don't score again. Just manage to finish that thing for you. <laughs> just draw. Now in one case we call that instill rage. Yeah. And that's why you don't say any ceasefire. 
They are not moving, you are not moving, you are just stop that war. Or how they ended the Korean war. They are not Korea, South Korea war. They went back to the line. They mad this. Fought for some years and they now went back to the same line and said, let them be peace. And that's where they are to today. The same thing, they did that is to Korea, not as South Korea. They fought from 1950 to 53. America, Russia, everybody, they went there, boom, 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 boom. At the end of the day, they now said, no, we will maintain the same line. And I asked, what is your concept of victory? What is victory in your room? Until you kill the mosquito, or until it goes out of the room, which one? <laughs> what is your concept of victory? Until you must kill that mosquito, until that mosquito goes out of that room. How do you define the good movie? Yeah, I know. How do you define the good movie? Any movie that they don't care within two minutes is not interesting to me. The killing must make sense. Now that I just woke up, shoo, 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 then you get that. No, it must be logical. It must be reasonable. Yeah, that's why I don't like the VIP at all. Now, now, you didn't answer my question. What's your definition of being rich? 2006, Nigeria, Lagos, Ebeda, Tokwemu. There used to be a bank there now. A bank. So the robbers were successful. They managed to cut away about 600,000 naira. Big money. 600,000 naira. Solid big money. Back then. Yeah, not the 600,000 naira. As when I say it was big money. So they shared the money now. One of them got about maybe, is it 100 or 150? And started crying. You are shocked. I mean, what, I mean, cry. 150. You know what his problem was? He said he does not know what to do with this money. That, it's, it's breakfast, it's lunch and dinner for the whole week. 1,000 can cover it. It was that bad. That you have never seen, they've never seen that kind of money in that generation. Not, not, in, 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 in fact, that was how they were caught. You know, Nigerians are when you are crying, they are pillow share, they can make you to like, they encourage you, you are talking, you are telling them that your life is true. That was how they picked the others, one after the other. <laughs> so I asked them, what's your concept of being rich? And that was why, you know, religion, Bible and Quran, there's something they call contentment. There are the person without a house that is contented, that is okay, and it builds up that is rich. And the person with four houses is still not okay. And so it's the same way. You, you, you add the 5.4 and you are targeting 5.5. But because you had four, you are not happy with yourself. Your, your enemy considers yourself a failure. You are just waiting for one point. <laughs> and you are not happy. And you are not consoling this person. <laughs> Exactly. 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 And that's why I asked that question. You understand better. What is your concept of victory? What Hamas did, they are paying the end for it now. Both the mother and the father and the body that I didn't know anything about it. They are paying for that crime of what Hamas did. But Hamas is celebrating that is a major victory. Ah, that thing is compounding. You know, you're not getting it. They attacked Israel October 7th. They raped the girls and killed the children. That's all. Now, Israel is now paying them back times 50 of what they did. Yet, a mask celebrating. What is your concept of victory? Exactly. Now, there was a video online of one woman using a car to crush another man's car. Did you see that? Yes. yes. See, my rationalization. When I analyze the thing, you know, they, I think the two of them were in, in, in the bomb in the car. I think they brushed their car. Maybe the man was down not begging the woman, or maybe, you know, tempers will always flare when it comes to car. The woman passed and was using a methodically to hit the other man's car. It was, it, she would reverse, not that he said, she would reverse and hit that car with her own car. And she damaged the two cars. Now, and she emerged victorious. She was satisfied. 
So I ask that question, what is your concept of victory? So victory most times is not what you are thinking that it is. That victory is not what most times what you are thinking. They said the greatest victory you can give, you can tell God to do to your enemy, is for God not to kill him, but for God to make sure he's alive to when you are successful. It makes no sense now. <laughs> you know, the greatest victory will be for God to kill your enemy. But that's said, no, 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 no. Make that person quarrel. Make me really let that person see me being rich. That that is the greatest. But you say no, keep the back and all the generation. <laughs> <laughs> that was why I asked you that question. That what is your concept of victory? Is it the same in the rich world there? The war between the two North Koreas ended in a stalemate. So now, but North is happy that they won. North Korea is happy that they won. Exactly. The war between Ukraine and Russia is still ongoing. Ukraine is happy that they are winning. And listen, you know, I said they are happy that they are winning. You were caught, but it was towards the end of the paper. Not the beginning of the paper. <laughs> so it's not the basis for appealing. No, it was the last one. I, I wrote the beginning. It, it, it was just this uh, Compared to it was when you wanted to bring this up for people who were caught. That was why I asked you, what is your concept of that thing called the victory? So we'll get to it when we get there. Then the next one is logic comment strategy. Now after that you have the conclusion. So we'll see next week. You have a nice week.